Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're all doing good out there. Uh, it's a Sunday morning. And it's a windy Sunday morning. Felt the car rocking around a little bit last night. Um, let's get up and let's let's take care of the day, shall we? Got some things to do today, you know? Got some things to do. Let's get after it. All right, let's see what kind of day we got here. That's a decent looking day, a little, little overcast, a little windy, a little cold, very cold actually, for late March, 27 degrees out today. Put the shoes up on the dash last night, all right, which is unusual, because um, usually I'll put them down there, but they're drenched, all right? So yesterday it started pouring out of the heavens out of nowhere while I was doing my deliveries. And by the time I could put my boots on, it was too late, right? They were soaked. So feet, socks were wet the entire day, but that's all good. I just decided to forge through and I made some good money yesterday, all right? But I put them up on the dash so they could dry a little bit, but they're not dry enough. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna dry these and my other clothes, my pants soaking wet, socks soaking wet, underwear, everything soaking wet. And they're all right here. All right, so uh, we are going to head down to the laundromat first thing this morning. We're going to throw these items in the dryer real quick and then we can move on with our day. Look at these guns, dude. Look at these freaking guns right here, man. Look at that. Ready to take charge. Went a little hard on the zipper today. That's not good. I've had this bag for over two years and haven't broken the zipper yet. That, that'll tell you how good this bag is. Good quality. Someone's right out here, and I'm guessing it's maintenance. Let's see. Yep, wow, I'm good. Little condensation on the window there, look at that. Just get that wiped off real quick, just like that. Just like that. All right, so we got Tony over here doing the maintenance. And I've become familiar with these sounds. I know who's outside sometimes because I'm just familiar. I, I hear him all the time. And I'm like, there's Tony doing, doing the bins. Now here's the thing about the maintenance people. Good hardworking folks. I don't wanna bother them. They don't wanna bother me. All right, this guy's standing 20 feet from me right now, and he knows I'm in here. I've got a good feeling he knows I'm in here, and I'm not trying to hide from him either, right? But he's just gonna keep going about his day. He's gonna change the trash and roll away. So not really too concerned with it, you know?
need some new laces. These laces are beat up. It is windy out there. And cold. Let's move. So let's talk about the day ahead real quick. I want to head over and uh, get these clothes dried up, my pants and underwear, socks and shoes, and get those dried up so I don't have wet clothes in the car all day. My hat could use a drying too. How you doing boys? Eating some cigarette butts? Beautiful. So the reason why I am so adamant about getting these clothes dry, all right, is because I don't want to have wet clothes or shoes in the car, all right? Sure, they could dry on their own in time, but it's just not a good thing to have wet things in the car, you know? It could cause mold issues. It caused a little condensation this morning, sure, but um, I just like to have everything dry. And it's a quick fix, man. We go to the laundromat, toss everything in the tumbler we're good to go all i need is about 15 minutes or so and put it on high done deal you see that right there wet shoes up against the window and just that little portion of the window condensation Got another hoodie. Putting that on right now because it is freezing out here. All right, so while that's finishing up, I'm going to clean up the car a little bit. You know, see if there's any trash lying around, dump all the trash and just get things organized in here. All right, I had some wings last night. Those were good. I'm gonna use this as our trash bag. We got trash in here. And this car could use a vacuum. Absolutely. Got some more trash here. Look at that hidden trash right here. Now the most cumbersome thing in this car that always seems to get in my way are these delivery bags, you know, but they're a must have for the job. And I delivered a pizza with olives in it. Like the pizza was just loaded with olives, black olives. The car smells like black olives today. And I hate olives, okay? So I like to put the gig bag Back here, this is the workstation now, all right? We need to transform the car from bedroom to workstation.
Also, another thing that can be quite cumbersome is these paper towel rolls. I like to buy single rolls, but most times I can only find two rolls. So I got these guys. I keep one bag here. I usually just throw one up front here, but you know, I would prefer to have just like a single roll and just re-up every time I need one. You know, it's easy to misplace things when you live in a car, even though it's a small space. You'd be surprised how often you'd lose something, right? So, like any home, everything has to have a place. You know, things can get quite unorganized in here if I'm not keeping up with it. Like this light right here, this belongs back here. got to do the gym bag transfer we take the used gym clothes out of here and then we put it in the laundry bag and then we load this up with some fresh gear right which I'm gonna do right now get a pair of underwear a pair of clean socks get a nice t-shirt good to go also while I'm back here I'm gonna charge the Jackery Right. This is how I charge this during the day. When I'm out driving, doing my deliveries, this thing is charging. So this thing never runs out of power. Teddy the turtle just chilling. Okay. All right, things are already starting to look better. So yeah, things can get unorganized pretty quickly when you live in your car, but you can also reorganize pretty quickly as well. It doesn't take too long. Everything is nice and dry. It's Sunday. Uh, my goal is going to be dropped from 200 to 150 today uh, because I just don't need to hit that $200 goal right now. And the reason being is because I'm actually making some money with YouTube right now so I can pull back on the deliveries and pull back on the on the driving even and kind of just spend more time creating content, going to the gym, reading, uh, taking a walk, uh, doing other things, which is great. Also, I've realized after filing my taxes uh, last year, I've realized that the more I earn in the gig economy, the more I burn, all right? So I burn myself out, I burn my car out, right? And I'm not gonna go into detail on this video, but I will be dropping a video very soon after this one, giving you a full breakdown of how much did I gross and how much did I net last year. And it's a very informative video, no BS, uh, because I'm pulling these numbers straight from my, my tax forms and my personal records of keeping track of business expenses and mileage and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that video. It's coming real soon, probably just a couple days after this one. Um, and it's an eye opener. It is an eye opener. It'll give you some great insight on what a full-time gig worker actually earns after expenses and taxes. So be on the lookout for that. All right, so here's the plan. I'm gonna switch on all the apps and see what I can get going right now. All right, and as for the gym, we're gonna go to the gym a little later today, somewhere around three o'clock. Um, I've noticed that the slowest times of the day to work are somewhere between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. So that'll be a good time to go to the gym then maybe we'll get something to eat. Well, we will get something to eat. 
And I'm gonna be doing a long fast today. I'm not gonna be eating anything up until that point, all right? But first things first, I wanna get out of these pajamas. Perfect. Then we're gonna shoot over to Dunkin' Donuts, get a coffee, and we're also gonna brush our teeth in there. Let's move it. Boy, that was a long drive, a whole 150 feet. Now I have everything I need to brush my teeth in the car if need be, but if I can use the facilities, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I just got a notification on my phone. Looks like a package just arrived. And the UPS store is right here. So let's go see what it is. Look at this. I told you it rained last night, didn't I? Or yesterday? Look at all that water. Crazy, dude crazy I was working in that that's why my shoes were saturated all right so someone sent me a brick in the mail let's see where it's from it's from Ohio, and it's from Kiersteed. I don't know if that's the person's name or, or if that's a town. Kiersteed from BG, Ohio. I look forward to opening this, but we just got this Uber Eats offer. Let's run this first. All right, this one's from Starbucks, and Starbucks is right here to the right. So we don't even have to travel too far to pick up this first order of the day. Let's get it. It is bitter cold out there. I might have to layer up. Time to employ the denim. That ought to do it. Let's move. All right, so this is a much later start than I'm used to but it's all good. All right, I've got a good feeling about today. All right, we just dropped off that order. Let's see what this package is all about and who it's from. Looks like a book. Looks like two books. Oh my goodness, that's really in there, huh? Got to be careful to make sure that there's no notes in here. All right, is there anything in here? I think we can do away with the package. The obstacle is the way. The timeless art of turning trials into triumph. This will be a good read. I would imagine so. We have a note here in between the books. Good idea, so we don't lose it. Another book, Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. Interesting. I wonder what this one's about. Anyways, we got a small library of books going on in the car right now. So I got plenty of reading to do. Plenty. Let's read the note. I'm going to start by saying you have very nice handwriting. Bryn, these are the books I told you I'd send in our Instagram chat. Stoicism is a game-changing way to live your life. 
Ryan Holiday has written over a dozen books and has daily emails, YouTube, and podcasts. I'm a minimalist too. If you don't want to read these or keep them, please pass them on. Keep on keeping on, Craig. Hey, thank you, Craig. I really appreciate that. All right, let's see if we can get another order. All right, we got another Uber Eats offer. It's a shop and pay this time. They're offering $10 for five and a half miles. Only two items at Shaw's Grocery Store. Let's hit it. flowers here. Must be for Easter. There we go. Beautiful. I'll tell you what, now it really smells like spring up in here with these flowers just wafting into my face, man. We're officially in spring right now, guys. We're officially in spring, but it feels like winter, all right? It is cold as hell out here. Why do they say cold as hell, though? Isn't hell supposed to be really, really hot? All right, we just got this offer from DoorDash. It's $15 for eight and a half miles. I can work with that. It's also heading into Attleboro, Massachusetts. And if we can get into North Attleboro and get into that sweet spot where all the restaurants are, it could mean business for us, right? And I've also noticed that Massachusetts pays a little more than Rhode Island does, okay? So I like where it's going. Also, what came in after that, Grubhub, a little $5 offer, half a mile. We're gonna take that one also. We're gonna do that first as a Nixer on the way over to the other one. All right, let's hit it. All right, we gotta move fast on this one because I'm doing something called dirty app and I'll explain what that is in just a second. Anybody home? Excellent, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, we just dropped off that Grubhub order, scooped up an extra five bucks on our way over to pick up the DoorDash offer. And it took us less than five minutes to complete that one from start to finish. That's the only reason I accepted it. That's known as dirty apping. That's when you accept two offers from two different apps at once. And normally I wouldn't recommend it because if you get held up with one app, you're gonna delay the other one and that's not gonna look good. So let's head over, pick up this DoorDash order, keep it moving. So that's gonna do it for lunch. Not bad, we made 75 bucks. It's only 2.45 p.m. We're gonna head over to the gym now for a little midday workout sesh. Take some time off, grab something to eat. And uh, we'll start back up again around dinner time. Gotta assume the position for gym time. Won't be needing this. Oh crap, the guy ahead of me has moved. Oh God, could die here, could die here. Don't do this, don't do this, Bren. Wait till you stop. Just wait till you stop, then take off your jacket.
good shape now. Always feel better after going to the gym. Always. Not just for my body, but for my mind. It's time to get something to eat. All right, I think I know what I'm going for. They got Miller's roast beef up here on the left and their French dip sandwich is to die for. We got the goods, let's eat. Okay, we got the au jus dip. Can't have it without that. That's very simple, just the sandwich. So this is $14. I give myself a daily allowance of $15 for my meal, my daily meal. Look at this. Look at this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just do a little dip right there, a little French dip. Cheers. Mm. So it's the beef, the sauteed onions, the horseradish sauce, and the cheese. And the bread is really soft, man. Really soft. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. That is just so good. So good. All right, so I'm going to chill out for a little bit, finish my lunch, and uh, then we'll get back to work. All right, we got our first offer of the night from Grubhub. They're offering $10.65 for six miles. So the goal for today was 150. Let's hit it. Tesla took off. Did you see that? <laughs> he was like, Phew. So that's gonna do it for deliveries. Not bad today, it was a smooth run. Closest Walmart to here is about 10 minutes. We're gonna be sleeping in Massachusetts tonight, which is no problem. Slept at this Walmart, I don't know how many times. So we are just gonna head home, set up camp, jump in the lounge, have a little chat, and that'll be it for the day.
going to be drying this towel right here on the wheel. I hang it over the wheel and it usually dries up overnight. Pajama pants going on. Mm, mm. Let's jump in the back. I got that little spin move down packed, man. All right, we're back in the lounge. We're just chilling. We got the soundscapes on over here. Pajamas, got some red light action. It's a good thing. It's good vibes in here. So looking at the numbers today, looks like I earned about 160, 160. Uh, Uber takes a while to load their tips after the day is done, but um, I can see that it's around 160. I can see the estimates, you know, and that's good. Our target goal was 150 for the day. So we made $10 more than that. We had a nice steady lunch. And then we were able to take a nice break for a couple hours. We went to the gym and then got something to eat. And I just chilled for a little bit, did some work on the laptop uh, and then got back to it. Dinner was nice and steady as well. And we got home early enough, right? Before 9 p.m. So that's always a good thing. All right. Uh, what else? Yeah, we're good to go now. I appreciate you guys for tagging along as always. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.